Hi, I'm Rich Voss, and this is Bonnie McFarland. We're both professional stand-up comedians. We met on a TV show, Last Comic Standing. Please welcome Ms. Bonnie McFarland. She was a contestant. And I was a judge. I took advantage of my position. <laughs> I'll say. If by any chance you didn't make it into the house, would you like to spend some time at my house? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be homeless. <laughs> and we fell in love. And we got engaged. Oh, you f***ing made a face when I said we fell in love. You went like that. It's not like this is the only wedding I'm ever going to have. Orgasm or break my head. We're going to Erie, Pennsylvania. We're doing stand-up there. I've never been to Erie. I don't know anything about the town. I don't know anything about the club. She never did the road before me, really. I kind of dragged her into it. Being on the road is as depressing as you can imagine. So one of the great points of us as a couple is we're on the road together. Sunday McFarland. Two rooms? Two rooms. We have you in two separate rooms. Siobhan We're going to sleep in the same bed. No, you each have separate rooms. But do I have to take the room if I don't want to? Can I just stay in his room? I um, want to stay in one bed. <laughs> yeah, we are yeah. engaged. Okay, It'll be fine. fine. Sure, no problem. Yeah, our yeah. parents know and yeah, everything. That's not a yeah. I don't know what bed you're sleeping. You're not sleeping in my bed. <laughs> you know, we, we travel week to week, you know. And hotel to hotel, and that's the main thing first, is we want a nice hotel. You know, after traveling, you just want to go into a nice place. Oh, oh my God. This sucks. Oh, welcome to show business. We gotta get out of here. You know, so it's just, we're, you know, when you we're too big to stay here. When, when you go to bed at night and you know only one can sleep and one keeps guard, you know, it's just <laughs> it's no way to live. And don't get me wrong, this is a good place for somebody maybe you know who's on parole or something. Or by the hour. Or by the hour. This is a by the hour hotel. Uh, if you if you put a black light to this thing, <laughs> you would find more DNA on here than you would in in, in John Gacy's uh, under his porch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's go and check for hepatitis. Oh my God! Welcome to Erie. Well, one dump down. I'm sure another to go. This place stinks. <laughs> we came down to the club and we um, met the club owners, lovely uh, couple that have been running the club for what, eight years. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? Hi. 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 McFarland. Do you know oh, that we checked out of our hotel? Do you what? We checked, we checked out, out of our hotel. hotel. You, you checked out of your hotel? Yeah. Uh -huh. Was there a problem? Well, no, 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 there wasn't a problem. It just said uh, the, the only thing we didn't like was the workout room. That's the only thing. And the AIDS. <laughs> no. And the what? No, but it'll be all right. Cool. I've, I'm the easiest going guy on the planet, believe me. It's all good, right? So, you know, we go to the club, and this club owner, you know, they're like, we meet them, and all of a sudden they have these rules. We do uh, try to keep it clean. Our room is, we try not to have a lot of blue material, nothing real graphic. What or... cons constitutes blue material? Keep it like PG, PG 13. We're told by the club owners that we're not allowed to swear 